And Kendall's not gonna like push people to like yeah. be center. Yeah, it was me. She and just it was... is center because she's so good. <laughs> like that's just how it is. So one of our dances is actually choreographed by Eddie Strachan from Radix. Oh, Kendall was like the lead, and then Laura and I were the backup dancers. But I like... think I like killed <laughs> yeah, someone so... at the end. It was good. It was yeah. good. No, yeah. Like stay tuned. It's like I have a boyfriend now, guys. I, where Abby would like do the pyramid or like talk to us. Were you ever on the top of the pyramid? What made you decide to switch? From like what we what we were doing to mm -hmm. doing song. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? floors to television screens kendall is now here yep. on my podcast <laughs> so excited guys i'm literally obsessed with kendall like i love her so much and i'm so happy she's here i love you let's just start from the beginning okay so how did you get into dance okay. how early okay so my mom put me into dance when I was two, which is very young. I would have done it earlier. You would have done dance earlier. Yeah, I would have d done dance earlier. Earlier but than two? Yeah. How? Like a mommy and me class. Oh. So like, just like, yeah, we would just be doing whatever. But I probably went into like a ballet class and a tap class at first. Like it wasn't really anything Serious. special, but I loved it. Like every time my mom put on music, I would just like start dancing. So I think that's why she just decided to put me in it. And yeah, I loved it. Uh, Kendall and I, I feel like we talked about, we talk about this a lot. Like last year during rehearsal weekends, we would always just sit on the floor and like look at her old photos. Yeah. We always I did love that. Looking at or my... I would like snap the guys on her phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that was a thing. <laughs> <laughs> like both of those things happened like every day. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'd be like, Kendall, you can't reply until I'm with you. And yeah. then she would reply. <laughs> So like yeah, whatever it's that was fine. Funny. Okay, so you started when you were two, but like when do you feel like you got like oh serious or like oh I really do want to like do this? Yeah. Okay. So probably after my first solo, which was when I was like five, I Wait, think. I swear I've seen the solo. You I'm showed cute. me before. Yeah, it was like like it went famous on YouTube. Like she went That's, internet famous yeah that was like her my breaking first point. like that was my breaking point it was i'm cute it was like this like pink like costume and i was just like i don't know you just was, like yeah that was that, that was, early that was when i knew i think that i like that i like wanted to do yeah. dance yeah yeah <laughs> people Maybe later. asked me a lot though to like just like do a side-by-side -side comparison of that solo maybe you should I senior should. year yeah senior year i it's, actually that's a that. good idea yeah. that's a good idea mm -hmm. okay so that was like your initial like this is what i want to do whatever mm -hmm. okay so then you got into competitive dance yes and like what was that like how was that journey so yeah i did competitive dance not like in the convention world at all i was just doing competitions like car like car like kendall was, kendall was like all those things six, and loyla was nine and kendall beat her like i hear about it all the time <laughs> loyla, no, kendall was six loyla was nine so kendall's a lot younger than I don't loyla remember that. <laughs> and kendall got second and loyla got fifth and Wait, crystal when got third was that? Oh, I, I hear do about this crystal, like yeah. religiously i do remember kendall beating beat crystal. crystal and loyla <laughs> <laughs> when she was like 10 years younger than everyone that's crazy probably with the cute solo Pro probably <laughs> so mm. you did like not like break the floor no like, not until i was like like my last year as a mini or like a junior that's like when i so you weren't started. like a newbie in the convention room no i don't Me think neither. there was newbies back then yes there was no when i started it was just minis like at like there were so many like babies in the the mini class people like are now like literally doing it at like four i yeah, swear that's they're like crazy. going for like title that's at like too, literally four years old that's too early i think <laughs> like no <laughs> like just like start with car like <laughs> and like hall of fame maybe yeah so then let's talk about dance moms okay. your pivotal time okay where you were like the yeah. star of dance moms like uh -huh. okay so yeah yeah so the producers like reached out to my dance studio and basically like asked me to be on it and I had like no idea I think I was seven 
I had like no idea really what it was. Like I had to like watch the episodes before I went on because I like that's crazy. I, don't know. I never really like watched that kind of stuff. Yeah. So I like had no idea what to expect, and so we got there, and it was like really scary. Like I like remember walking into the room and just like in Pittsburgh or LA in LA. I remember just like walking to the room and like we were we were late um and so like I was just like scared for my life like they were all just like staring at me I was like I don't know if this is what I, <laughs> I want to be doing right now <laughs> I can imagine Kendall just being like this like oh my god like <laughs> please I do not want to be yeah, here that was, yeah I was really like scared but, yeah. and then like you did it and then like I did you did it, it and then I think it was too much pressure on me. I don't think I was the type of person to, like, do that for the rest of... Yeah, I don't think so either. No. Like, Kendall is, like, yeah. more of, like, a... You're, like, a very, like, dancer dancer. Not yeah. to say, like, the dance moms people aren't, but they're, like, drama and dance. Yeah. It's, like, I feel like it's, like, I drama like with dance on the side. Out there. Yeah, and Kendall's not gonna, like, push people to, like, yeah. be center. Yeah, it was me she and She just it was... is center because she's so good. <laughs> like, that's just how it is. It was me, like, and my mom, too. Like, we both just, like, decided, like... Yeah, because no, I, can I can't see your mom also being, like... No. My kid is better than yours. No, like, definitely she's... not. So, yeah. But I do remember, like, the little things, like, the weird things. Like, I remember sitting on the bus... And, like, Maddie would braid my hair. I was obsessed I'm with Maddie. I'm so jealous. I was obsessed with I her. I wish she touched my hair. <laughs> <laughs> like, I remember, like, things like that. I don't remember, like, standing in the line, like, where Abby would, like, do the pyramid or, like, talk to us. Were you ever on the top of the pyramid? I don't... I don't remember even, like, doing the pyramid. That's like, crazy. I just, it was crazy. I remember, like, rehearsing with the girls, like, in the hotel... Yeah, like, I don't... Do you actually learn the dances in three days? Yeah, it's, like, two days almost. Like, it was it was crazy. Like, I remember, like, praying I didn't get a solo because that's, like, just another, like, extra thing. It's scary. Kendall would have slayed a solo on Dance Moms, <laughs> guys. Yeah, but, yeah, I don't remember, like, much. That much? Yeah. Yeah. It was an experience, but... Yeah. Was that before World of Dance or after? That was before. Okay, World so of Dance now when I was, like... 10. World of Dance. World of was Dance. Was that experience like so so different? Yeah, it's like best experience like really? by far of my dance career. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay, talk about it. So it was me and seven of my other like best friends. I just remember it being just like a big like like almost like hangout almost because we were just like the bestest of friends. And the I think I just learned like so much from that experience. Like I learned like teamwork. I learned like how to like pick up things early yeah. and like they were all just like yeah I don't know it was just it was just the best experience. did you ever get the mic on world of dance to um, talk like occasionally in the interviews but never on stage it was Why not it was Sammy <laughs> it was Sammy and it was Delaney I think I just I don't know I was like too nervous I think yeah I, think. I don't I couldn't see you being like I want the mic no like, I feel like I would be like give me the mic yeah but you Kendall would be like <laughs> no yeah. like I definitely wouldn't <laughs> Give us one little insight to World of Dance that people don't know just from watching it. Um, one thing that people wouldn't know is probably that we were, like, with each other 24-7. Like, we did school together. We, like, were in the hotels together. Like, we never left each other's sides. Like, it was crazy. Like, we were just living together, basically. That's, yeah, Kiara, like, just came, and she was talking about World of Dance, and she said they fought a lot because they were always Actually, together. Yeah. I think... We didn't fight at all. Wow. I think we were I just like... I would totally... I don't know how you did that. <laughs> so actually, one thing about the show is that it was like completely real. Like there was this one scene where Naya said hi to me on stage and she had never like spoken to me, like never said hi. And my reaction was real. Like I like reacted in a... Like I started crying. That was my reaction because it was just like... Kendall's a very real so person, surreal. guys. I am real. Yeah. yeah. Favorite moment. Favorite moment from World of Dance favorite moment i think just performing each time yeah. and just like getting like the feedback from all the was judges it live and stuff it was live yeah there was just, like it wasn't a big audience though it was just like a small little like i don't Group know of people it, like made it seem like it was like bigger than it was but for me it was obviously scary because it was like yeah the cameras everywhere and like yeah. the judges were crazy but another like big thing was uh j-lo like talking to us directly and like we had this rehearsal one time and she like came in and watched it like just hers 
so cool. I remember like just like looking up to her and it was, yeah. Wow. It was amazing. That's exciting. Can you tell us what she said? Um, Can you just remember? I don't, even, I don't even know. Let me think. I, I just remember her like thinking how cute we were because we were the youngest like on the show. Oh, yeah. She was just like. Were you on just, at the same time as like The Rock? No, I think oh. we were the season after oh okay talk about this shift from going from competitive dance doing it a lot all day long 24 7 to going into song high school dance team Uh so it was I feel like um it wasn't like as big as I thought it would be like I expected to just like like be empty like I don't know I danced like all day like every day it was crazy and so like I don't know song I love song like it was probably like the best decision I could have made yeah um but yeah like all of my friends do it it's just like so fun like I think dancing like 24 7 I kind of got like burnt out almost no yeah it's hard not to yeah what's the difference in schedule like okay so when I danced like full-time before I quit I was dancing at school and I was dancing like right after school until like 9 30 10 yep so yeah now it's like just dancing at school and then I have like football games and maybe like a few rehearsals football games are so fun it's like it's so yeah and then like maybe like a few rehearsals like yeah but like that's literally it you did like um last year you did your dance team too yeah it was like like, it was just a class at school it was just like you did like the performances performances yeah Yeah. there was like a show and then you still do that and song Uh uh-huh yeah but you rehearse song after school song is a period at school but it like goes after school kind of so you do it you do both dance team and song as a period in school yeah i love public school i'm glad i i'm glad i went that route oh wait yeah because kendall went to osha oh guys kendall went to osha with me i did we went to school together that's crazy i remember talking backstage with you and you were like i cannot wait to go to canyon next year like (laughs) osha Osha was a lot it was a lot of it's a lot it's a lot like you have to be like you have to be like well equipped for it to handle it Mm -hmm. i feel like yeah and I just am like a diehard OSHA kid. Like, uh-huh. like so you have to be that person. Like, I just, am that person. Like, I'm so invested in OSHA mm-hmm. that it's like it works for me. But yeah. like, if you're not, then like it doesn't work. So, where did you do seventh grade? Seventh grade, I went to a regular middle school. Wow. So you only went for eighth grade. Yeah. That and was, then you were like, peace out. Yeah. Like, can't do it anymore. I think it was just because I experienced seventh grade and I like like it. All, yeah, I liked it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was still a good experience though. Yeah. You, you definitely like learn something from mm-hmm. going to OSHA. You yeah. don't leave like not knowing anything because mm-hmm. it is like a whole experience in itself for yeah. sure. Mm-hmm. So talk about going back. Yeah. Talk about song and like what that is because okay. I've never done it. Yeah. So the first half of the year is football games, like football, like strictly football. Um, and that's kind of like what you do summer practices for. Like there was a oh, lot yeah. of summer. She like, was like in clinics over the summer. Yeah. There I was a lot of summer practices. It was like four hours a day. And, and then, you like have routines you like do? Yeah. There, it's like little dances that we do when there's like timeouts or like quarters. Like, yeah. And, um, and then like kind of like towards the end of football season, we learn our competition dances. So we have those done right now. You compete? We compete the second half of the year. Yeah. There's like song competitions. Song competitions. Yeah. It's like two nationals and then like a couple regionals and then and you haven't done any yet no i think it starts in like january talk about yeah. your competitions okay so one of our dances is actually choreographed by eddie strachan from radix oh my musical and theater so, is yeah it musical no theater? it's not musical theater <laughs> it's actually like it's called jazz when you do a song competition there's one palm dance and that's when you like have yeah. the palms yeah yeah and then then the other one is jazz and so that's like without it's the just, palms. it's just anything else without jazz so it's technically like lyrical but it's like the category is jazz. And so Can you choreographed a lyrical dance? Yeah. Wow. And yeah. It's like lyrical, but also it's like it has to have a lot of tricks. Did so he it's remember like you? at the same time? Was he yeah. like Kendall? Yeah. Yeah. I, I love Eddie. Imagine. Okay, where are your competitions at? Um, so we have one of our nationals in Florida actually. Mm-hmm. So like for competition dances, we yeah. do like eight, ten, you know, group mm-hmm. dances. But what is it like for song? Like what's the difference? Okay, so um a lot of people don't know this i think but 
there's a difference between cheer and song girls really yeah so the cheer, the cheer girls I actually didn't know that i'm not even kidding yeah the cheer girls do most of the stunts and we do do some cheers together but when cheer is like like off we do our dances and so like so you like perform sometimes together but then sometimes yeah. separate like the cheers are together and then we do dances and then do they do their stunts so like it's like a separate flips. yeah they do like they're like why aren't you like, a cheerleader you actually do that <laughs> you actually can flip i can flip i think the stunts is just like too much too much and then oh, that's where you like stand yeah, on people stand on people oh and, like, you don't do that in song no oh you thought we did i literally <laughs> don't know the difference i thought yeah, you did it's, it's mostly dancing like jazz dance yeah so then for the competitions we um learn a palm and a jazz and then you don't do those routines at the football games no but oh. we do do basketball games and then we do those dances there have you done a basketball practice. game yet no like those. at your school your school has basketball yeah really Mm-hmm. i know you art schools are so weird i like <laughs> saw like that dodgeball game i'm like wow this is the <laughs> only thing they get yeah dodgeball i didn't even go so I do we that. have dodgeball and That's... it happens twice a year mm-hmm. you get a team together of eight and you play against people and then that's, the winners win like i don't even know what you that's win the only sport like yeah you know you've seen osha dodgeball no i didn't i didn't i mean <laughs> i literally am a senior and i've never once been like maybe i should do it yeah you should do it will you come watch at school yeah. <laughs> it's after school i'm, I'm good we, no actually loyla and i were trying to get our team together and we we're like you me who else and then we stop there because no <laughs> like we run out of people after that so you That's can join funny. our team yeah. i don't know if you have to go to osha i feel like you would have to <laughs> i mean it's osha yeah maybe not okay so that actually does seem really fun so it's yeah. making me jealous it's like it was a lot though it was like 30 cheers i had to learn and then like wow 11 like sideline dances oh wow that's mm-hmm. a lot yeah do you have like a basketball court at your school mm-hmm wow that's like the gym like that's like where we practice there's like a oh big, a yeah. gym yeah oh, that's kind right. of like what the normal but then there's schools also like outside basketball courts and stuff so it's like yeah that's so cool yeah public so you, school you, <laughs> <laughs> so you like dance like rehearsals practice in the gym mm-hmm. where the basketball boys practice Do there's practice like two at the separate same ones times? though there's like while we practice in like the small gym that's what it's called the small gym there's like volleyball in the other one or like after you we, could like join after the we jo- practice, volleyball team if you wanted to if i wanted to i don't like, think I you don't. <laughs> like you could like you just like try out to be on those yeah. things yeah wow wow i literally do not know this okay now let's like go back into like how has jan- dance like changed your perspective on like life? Like I feel like it just like okay. teaches so many things that like people yeah. don't even realize. Yeah. So I think dance taught me a lot about confidence. Like you have to like put yourself out there like yeah. on a stage with like hundreds yeah. of people or like yeah. And also like I just like gained like all of my friends and all my friendships and like just like interactions with everybody from dance. Like yeah. I don't like if I didn't do dance, I don't know like how i would like be yeah. out in the world like that's yeah. just i don't know the world without dance yeah it's crazy it's crazy so i feel like you dance so confident and like when everyone watches you dance you like seem so outgoing because mm-hmm. you're you're a very like confident strong dancer but like i feel like you're not that outgoing when like no, personality wise okay yeah so when i dance i like have this persona that i'm like the most confident person ever but when you talk to me i'm like I'm like considered shy like yeah people think I'm shy shy. um but yeah like once you get to know me I'm like I kind of like get out but you do but yeah like dance is just like I can be whatever so with being shy Mm -hmm. and now like being so popular in the dance world (laughs) how do you like how does that translate with like people always recognizing you and like people talking to you and you don't necessarily like know them Mm -hmm. yeah so when I was younger and I would get recognized it was kind of just like me just like hi like I didn't know like how <laughs> what to respond. To do. yeah like I was like just like a little baby like what is happening like yeah. I didn't like yeah. I didn't really understand but now I kind of just like I don't know go with the flow go with the flow yeah yeah Kendall is very go with the flow I'm a very go with the flow person 
this is like the viewer question segment. Mm-hmm. This is where like viewers ask their questions. Okay. These aren't coming from me. Okay. okay. Yeah. Number one, who is your dream duet partner? Okay. Um, <laughs> no, dream. actually, I'm going to decide for Kendall because it's Loyla and I. Because, wait, everyone, it was last year during competition. We all were oh. sitting watching the twins duet because yeah. the duet was like in the middle of groups or something uh-huh, and yeah. then there was this trio and it was like the shining sisters and then me it Lola, was the Kendall best thing i ever watched decided we decided that we were, we gonna, were gonna do it. it yeah we yes. still need to do that yeah we do so yeah i picked loyal and ken's yeah for as my us. yeah like we saw this trio guys it was amazing life-changing it was like, amazing <laughs> like, yeah. yeah wow i just i want to see it again yeah me too it was crazy i tried to look it up on youtube after yeah, but we, it was we just literally nowhere to be found high and low. oh my god it was amazing <laughs> we like while they were on stage decided who was gonna be who yeah kendall was like the lead and then Lola and i were the backup <laughs> dancers but I like think i like killed <laughs> yeah, someone so at the end it was good it was yeah good. no yeah like stay tuned that's coming mm-hmm. okay dream job dream job um Okay, so I actually, like, don't know what I want to do when I'm older. Um, gosh. Um, well, the route that I think I'm going to go, like, right now is, like, I'm going to do dance team, and then I'm probably going to, like... Okay, actually, no. If I could do whatever I wanted, I would be, like, a cosmetologist. Like You have said I, that before. Yeah, like, I want to go to cosmetology school. I don't know if that's, like... A thing. Like, like no. it's a thing, but yeah. like, I don't know if I could do that. Like, you can. Why can't you? What's stopping you? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Like, do you want to do like dance, like song in at um college? Song like in college is called dance team. Like it's like oh. sideline and competition. You're used to like jazz and contemporary. Like palm is hard. Like it's just like so. So you're like getting good like training. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Okay. Last question. What made you decide to switch? From like what we what we were doing to Mm -hmm. doing song. Okay, so first of all, like everyone that I grew up with dancing, like they all went to the song world, and I kind of like looked at it as like, like oh, this could be a new opportunity. Like this could lead to so many other things. And I just like, I looked at dance team in college, and I was like, wait, I think this is something that I could do. Yeah. Um, because I think like the professional worlds, like I don't know, like the conventional world was kind of like something that I didn't like look forward to yeah and yeah like all my friends like did songs so I was like like this is like something that I could do like and then um yeah like the dance like competition I kind of just like did for so long I think it just kind of got like yeah repetitive like Like, I just needed something new yeah a change of pace yeah it was good happy I'm happy I'm very happy yeah I actually have free time now because like I can't even imagine it ends at 4 30 every day and so I have like opportunities to like be a kid like that's kind of like what I wanted to do yeah. I wanted to like hang out with my friends like I have a boyfriend now guys I, <laughs> yeah this was a long time coming it was I remember at TDA yeah it went like back like you were yeah no yeah you, like, this was a thing yeah. for a long time mm-hmm. I'm happy it finally it finally, finally happened, happened. <laughs> this is a long time coming yeah so yeah i have time to do like i don't know like like I can have do my a life homework. yeah i have a life yeah now this is my personal favorite part because i can't wait to hear your answer okay i do this every time too a pro and a con of me a pro and a con of you yeah <laughs> okay i can't even wait to hear her answer a pro is that i don't even have to like I didn't have to make friends with you. You yeah. just decided that you were decide. my friend. And so <laughs> it just worked. Like, yeah. I'm, yeah, we're best friends. And a con, hmm. I, like, definitely annoy I, Kendall a lot. Like, last year, during <laughs> rehearsals, like, we'd be sitting there, and it would just be, like, us two. Oh, because it would always be chaos rehearsal, and, and we weren't in the dance, so, but, like, every, oh, yeah. a lot of people we talked to mm-hmm. were in that dance, so it would just be, like, us two sitting there, and then Kendall would be, like, Ken's be quiet, Ken's be quiet, Ken's be quiet, because <laughs> everyone was in the kids' room, but it would just be, like, us two, and I'd be, like, screaming, and Kendall would be, it's like, Ken's be quiet. It's not that it's annoying, it's just that, like, I would be tired, and it was just, like... And I'd be screaming at her. Me, like chill for a second (laughs) i never let her chill yeah never it can also be a good thing thanks yeah what is the question you feel like people ask you the most hmm probably honestly probably like was abby 
like really mean like was that real was she mean she was um like i didn't really get to experience her off camera like the only times i really saw her was on camera so oh, i don't really I, could, I can't really answer that like i could never answer that i just remember the girls being all nice so you don't think she was like but she did she ever like do anything to you no like yell at you not but really. i honestly feel like if she yelled at you you'd be like okay yeah, I would not, just like, like cry. I would probably just take it. Yeah, Kendall would just be like, okay. Yeah, but I don't really remember if Abby was mean or not. Yeah, I wonder. Could you see me on Dance Moms? Yeah, yeah, I, could. I think when so you were, too. Yeah. Like I totally, you would be. It was a, such a missed opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> Dang they, it! Yeah, we could have been on it together. Oh, imagine we would have had a duet. <laughs> like, yeah, like that's. That's yeah, where the shiny would've, trio would have came yeah, in. Yeah, I would have stayed. <laughs> if I came, mm-hmm. I would have made Kendall stay because I wouldn't have been able to do it without her. <laughs> For sure. For sure. Tell everyone all of your socials okay. so they can find you. Okay. Instagram, Kendall underscore loves underscore dance. It's still that. It's still that. I do have a second account, though, that I just use for myself. Yeah, I myself. follow it. It's like... Kendall dot Faye. No, it's K Kendall Faye Y. I was close. Yeah. Um, other You post socials, like more pictures I, on that. Yeah. Than you do like Kendall loves dance. Yeah, that's like my non-dance account. Yeah. 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 Like, TikTok? TikTok. Um, I don't really use my main account anymore. That's kind of just like. Yeah. She doesn't. She's always posting the private videos. Yeah. Only. Only I only can see. Only some people can see them. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. Now, merch. Kendall merch. gets merch. And she I gets get to merch. sign the board, which she's been wanting to do. Yeah, I'm excited. Okay. I'll show you. So we have gray and green. Cute. Feel the inside. That's nice. Yes. And then green and white. Hmm. That's that's a hard one. You can one. just take both. I always I'm just no, like take both. I feel bad. No. Why do you feel bad? Cuz there's other people that need merch. No. Your top priority, Kendall. Thank you. <laughs> I'm literally so honored you came. I love you so much. I love you. Thank this you was so such much for honor. coming. Thank, Thank you, you for guys having me. For watching. I will see you guys next week. Bye. Peace. Bye.